If you are an adult who knows a second language, share it with the child. And share it in an active way. Let him act. Theater provides a motivation. It uses both hemispheres of the brain, involving the total child and enveloping his whole total consciousness. Theater is a global introduction to foreign language learning. In striving to make it attractive and understandable, I use two very popular fairy tales, the story of Pinocchio, which is Italian, and Little Red Riding Hood, which was originally in Latin, which very well may have been Italian. I interwove the culture, history, music, and language together with the spirit of the Italian people so that the children could experience Italianness. They learned the play in 10 days, approximately an hour a day, and then they performed at the New York State Regional Foreign Language Fair at Damon College on May 9th. They won first place the blue ribbon, competing against junior high and high school students. We have just been invited to perform and be part of the New York State Foreign Language Showcase at Kayamisha Lake at the Hotel Concourse as one of the outstanding foreign language performance groups in the state of New York. And now for a bit about our play. Here in this corner, from the Italian Renaissance, direct to you, is Leonardo da Vinci, born in the town of Vinci in the 1400s. And he is busy at work creating one of his masterpieces. And look who's here. World famous model, Mona Lisa Gioconda, straight from Italy, another contemporary of Leonardo, posing for him. Not always in perfect form, however, which creates a bit of a problem for Leonardo, as you will see. Back there is none other than Galileo Galilei from the Italian Renaissance once again, leaning over the Italian Leaning Tower of Pisa, looking through his telescope, which he invented, studying the heavens and studying the effects of gravity. He also invented the balance, how appropriate. Here to the left is Christopher Columbus, Cristoforo Colombo, who was the first one to bring knowledge of the Americas to the world. And he also was the first one to come up with the idea that the world is round. Let's say that in Italian. Il mondo è tondo. And next to him is none other than the famous Garibaldi, the leader of the Camice Rosse, who unified Italy 100 years ago. This is the year of Garibaldi, and all of Italy is celebrating his famous works. And here are his Camice Rosse, his red-shirted men. Now, on with the show. Avanti ragazzi!